VDG. That's super funny to say VDG in English. I get to say this is pretty classy. Okay, they're starting right away. Rondel with his Falcon, VDG with his Chic. And that start. So, that matchup is uh, often, often that matchup is considered to be really hard for Falcon because oh, she can just gimp and uh, destroy Falcon. But actually, that's not the only thing that you can see in that matchup. Falcon can destroy she if you start with a nice grab, like a really nice and good one. One tiny uppers can lead to so many more and to a knee. The stock can come up from really fast, but as you can see, one tiny mistake from the edge, one down smash, and that's a stock. This is why at some point this can be hard for Falcon, but I mean, Falcon get the, get the edge guard by someone, is that really a surprise? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, come on, you know, you know it. So... Fighting that grab, nice take chase. Not the second one though. Okay, on the grab, finding that there. Taking some lead for the edge guard. Yeah, nice covering by Ronald. Just staying like above the edge, I would say, just down from the from the edge of the platform. Slightly in the back here. Ah, one up there. Safe, uh, safe conversion. And Accordingly, getting way too far in his edge guard. Just one of the main things to do against Sheik. It's mostly like a, a, a keep it simple. Edge guard is like taking the edge and just do something from the edge. Oh, nice conversion by BDG. And finally missed out his edge guard there. Ah, this is web that getting hit by the neutral air because so. Okay, from the edge, that's fair, pretty ballsy. But Tunde was trying to do something during the city of his opponent, so of course, get hit. And getting punished on that left dash. Beautiful back here by, by Rondel. Okay, just the ball. But there, unfortunately, you cannot uh, link it with a side B. And the B will reach O. Oh, oh, too bad. A bit slow after that up here. Could have been the start there. And left tilt. Simple. And for it, it's not NTSC. This is Paul. And Paul. The up here is pretty low. This is a combo move, not a kill move. And with those Falcon, I don't even know they left. A kill. Nice job, waiting a bit, nice back here. Okay, but jumping just above the edge against his opponent, get hit. By the pair, allowing Rondel to find an opening and take that stock. Okay, nice, just standing in front of him, finding the grab. Following the tech shares on that platform, a nice fair by the Okay, nice, nice by the just keep it the center. There, making come some wall. Nice. Just clothing all the opportunity one by one, following him and formally trying to make a tiny. Oh, nice crouch cartel on the light knee to, make, to get that grab. Nice air dodge back uh, to the center, I would say. Noble gentleman. Maybe take shots for the right after a dash that could be too slow, but already in the center. That means jab, we don't want it now. Oh, that was a try, but that won't work in formally. Okay, get hit by the explosion. Not until double jumping just right before the trade. Okay, nice one. We get hit by that gentleman. Take that edge. Simple. Not trying to edge dash. Just a simple jump. And then letting that edge. Miss the knee, but that over the landing of the platform. Nice covering by Yondel. And this is a two star for Yondel. Fountain of Dreams, the classical, classic counter pick against a Falcon. Really a classical one. Really, really, really. Okay. Nice take shade. Nice jab afterwards. Fortnite yes. getting hit so many times with that up B from Falcon. Good space a bit more, or maybe just fade back a bit and come back. Nice angle that Obi, that was kind of ambiguous, I would say. Well, then it could have been just reacting a bit to the name of the game attack like, uh, that Vinny put on his, uh, on his, uh, his chic. By just maybe getting on the edge, then wiggling it back to take the edge back, but fortunately, falling to the trap. 
Nice, down to the jab, down smash. Vidigi once again take the first stock. Whoops. Staying in the center, Vidigi just go over that dash tag. And for your lead light one, waited a bit too much on that dash, so getting punished for that. Okay, roll behind, two jabs. And for let's say maybe away from the I'm not really sure, I would say. That allow him to avoid the grab right after. That was nice, that was nice. Okay, run for the grab. Staying a bit. Oh, under the fight. That was kind of fun. A bit dangerous, but fight that back here still. Not really the better placement to make follow up, cover the ground, but even though. Nice side B, double jumping to avoid a lob smash. Nice shield. Nice by Rondel, punishing that down smash. Not that dash attack though, getting shield grab right after. Nice by VDG. Rondel just not being at all. I think he was fearing the, the down smash coming out from nowhere, so he wasn't taking away of those jabs. So, but that was a giant trap. That's the, one of the main. Oh, nice, nice. That is one of the main strength of uh, of Sheik. GI trap. Like most of the move of Sheik, like send you upward, and most of the other move just send you like straight forward. So, it's like you never know when you should try your way to get out of combos that don't make a bad DI on the move that send you forward or make a DI upward to survive where that's just gonna be helping the Sheik make more combos on you. So, this is hard. This is hard sometimes to read what you're gonna do. Okay, nice then. I love the use of the Sheik down tier, let's be honest. And Vidigi making quite... Quite a good use of that, and for the Rondel missed the edge there, so cannot really grab the edge, so do not make that edge guard. And maybe VDG, will he take that stock afterwards? Will he take that stock on that mistakes of Rondel? Not quite. Nice once again, and don't heal. Really nice, really, really nice. I love Like, he just dash, dashing a bit, just putting like at a nice range where he just trapped a bit the dash and some of the back up, and just making that don't like over a lot. Hard to avoid, hard to make with, and punish afterwards. So that was nice, that was nice, by the way. By the that was nice. Not this time, though, the shot up. Let's try to just get up or uh, just get a bow on that don't you? Bold air dodge, allowing him to avoid that side B, making a simple punish out of it. Nice little double back here. The don't once again. This time at the landing. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how he just uh, cross up his opponent in his shield. Nice dash tag fair. Will he take the edge? It did. The fair on the other side. Don't you once again don't get the take shield, but even though he's in the control, taking that there, making that fair, taking the stock, taking the game. One one. So at the end when they were on the left side of the edge, I felt like Fidigi went for it fair, but with the lag of the landing and up B of the Falcon, Fidigi could have went for down air, send the Falcon upward. Um, extend his combo on his edge guard, more simple. Damn. So Vidigi forgot to transform at the beginning of the game and Rondel does not care at all. We're here at the tournament, we're not here to just take tea, we're not here to be friends, we're not here to do anything, you're not a chic, that's your own problem. Stay with you, bottom tier VDG and give me your stock. Give me both your stock. Just because when you're starting invincible with your uh, with your uh, with your uh, you know when you're just stuck you're invincible, okay? But when you get down off that uh, platform, with your invincibility and you transform into Sheik or you switch form by Zelda Sheik or Sheik Zelda, you lose completely your invincibility. And that was what happened there. Like Vidi just transformed right away in Sheik and Rondel just started by putting that great knee and just taking the pressure right after. So I think it's gonna be pretty hard for Vidigi to go back on that uh, on that loss of momentum, I would say. Because I mean, he lost, he lost, he lost two stock for nothing, just because he was Zelda and wanted to transform. Because of that thing, he was a bit destroyed when playing. So that's his third stock now. It's gonna be hard. Well, then that wasn't really fair, but let's be honest. Let's be honest, man. You could, you could have let him transform. I mean, come on, come on. Like, usually all that beat, beat BDG in general, so that would have been fair, that would have been fair. This is not fair. I'm sorry guys, but I, don't, I just like, I didn't like the behavior. I'll be honest with you. 
But I mean, when your opponent plays Sheik and it's like starting with Denda, yeah, terrible DI on that knee, terrible DI. VDG was not there anymore, he was not there. So yeah, 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 that was mean. That was really, really mean by Rondel, really mean.